reportedly made a huge mistake by asking her sister to testify in court next week. Previously, there had been rumors surrounding the idea of whether her sister would even be allowed to testify in court. However, now that the possibility appears to be confirmed, Amber Heard's sister is going to testify very soon. However, this appears to be going against Amber Heard and might end up favoring Johnny Depp instead. There have been discussions about the implications of Heard's sister testifying in court, and the results are not looking pretty for Amber Heard. So what's about to happen during the testimony of Heard's sister, and how will it benefit Johnny Depp? Let's find out in this video. Twitter has been on top of this matter as soon as rumors began circulating regarding Amber Heard's sister appearing in the trial. The rumors became a confirmation when the matter was actually brought up in court, and the judge did not appear very convinced about allowing Heard's sister to testify. Let's have a look at one of such revelations in court that might end up changing the course of the case. Meanwhile, fans are fully supporting Johnny Depp. One Twitter user writes, Amber Heard sliced part of Johnny Depp's finger off, burned his face with a cigarette, crapped on his bed, spit on him, withheld his medications, punched him, and then played the victim in front of the entire world. He lost his job, but she didn't. And Jeanette Levy, who is a crime expert working in the US, recently broke new developments on the largest social media network by posting about Amber Heard's sister. She tweeted, New info, Amber Heard will return to the stand next Monday, and we can tell you actress Alan Barkin will testify along with Amber Heard's sister, Whitney Enriquez, and Johnny Depp will be called to testify. This became the start of a really interesting discussion on Twitter, where people were implying that the testimony of Amber Heard's sister won't exactly work out in favor of her anyway. A user replied to Miss Levy's tweet, writing, The only way Whitney is testifying is if Judge Penny allows it. Whit never finished her depot, and Ben Chu has objected to her being called as a witness. I will believe who's a witness when I actually see them in court. This was the point where really interesting revelations and opinions were drawn regarding the part of this case. A user called Kia Cooper replied to the tweet, giving a really interesting perspective. Here's what she wrote. I say bring Whitney. She will crack under pressure, same as in her deposition, and be destroyed on the cross. And cometh Whitney, cometh Jennifer Howell, who will refute much of what Whitney says. Below are excerpts from a letter from Johnny to Whitney after giving a statement to Adam. Big mistake. Let's have a look at the deposition before moving forward to the actual updates in the case. Kaya Cooper tweets Adam's deposition, which reads as follows. The things that came up during the deposition with Adam are as follows. The incident on the stairs was one of the inciting events that led you to ask to move in with me. You told me and others on staff that you tried to stop Amber from attacking Johnny and nearly got thrown down the stairs. At no point in time was it ever said to me that Johnny had hit Amber nor abused her in any way. Had you ever expressed concern that Johnny was abusing Amber, I would have gotten a social worker or someone to help you to remove your sister from that situation. I would have done anything to help you in any way. My father reminded me this morning that I told him that Whitney had moved in with me because she was terrified of her sister. Johnny Depp's exes, Winona Ryder, Vanessa Paradis, and Jennifer Grey were among those who reacted to Heard's claims. Vanessa Paradis, his ex-wife, called the charges outrageous and distressing. Winona Ryder described the allegations as very distressing, while ex-fiance, Jennifer Grey, described the trial as insanely sad. This resulted in a threat on the matter where Adam's deposition also came to light. The depositions had not exactly gone in favor of Amber Heard, which is exactly what puts her in a bad position at the moment. A Virginia jury will decide whether Johnny Depp and Amber Heard will be held accountable for millions of dollars in damages in their dueling defamation claims. Seven jurors will determine whether Heard, 36, defamed Depp, 58, in a Washington 2018 Post op-ed piece in which she described herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. A jury must also decide whether she should be held liable for millions of dollars in damages. 
The jury is going to determine damages for both the claim and the counterclaim, sources close to Heard's legal team told The Post. If the jury finds Amber was liable for Mr. Depp, it would determine damages. If it found that Mr. Depp was liable for Amber's counterclaims, it makes a determination of damages. The Aquavan actress who dated Depp and was married to him for 15 months faces no jail time because she is only facing civil claims, not criminal accusations. The Pirates of the Caribbean star sued Heard for $50 million, saying she ruined his reputation and career, costing him tens of millions of dollars when she wrote the op-ed. Although Heard did not identify Depp in the article, his lawyers contend that it nonetheless defamed him, since it plainly referred to domestic abuse charges made by his ex-wife when she filed for divorce in 2016, and obtained a temporary restraining order against him. Depp has denied ever physically abusing Heard, claiming that she was the one who was abusive in their relationship. Meanwhile, Heard has accused Depp of abusing her several times. The actress subsequently filed $100 million defamation counterclaims, saying that Depp was wagering a smear campaign to damage her life. For the past four weeks, the two have been battling it out in front of a jury in a Fairfax County courthouse. The trial has been put on hold for a week. The jury might begin deciding the fate of the estranged couple. I have lost 25 pounds with Noom. I've lost 97 pounds with Noom. I've lost 25 pounds as early as May 27th, following closing statements. According to a source close to Heard's legal team, the jury might be unconvinced by either side and decide that neither Depp nor Heard should be granted damages. A Depp spokesperson confirmed, jury decides damages and yes, it is possible that no damages are awarded. If the jury decides that Heard should not be held liable in Depp's lawsuit, she will be able to reclaim her legal bills from Depp. According to the sources, the sum would be established by a judge at a later date. If Depp is successful, though, it might have a chilling effect on other claimed victims, according to Halim Danadina, a criminal defense attorney and former California judge. Anytime a defamation lawsuit is successful, it has a chilling effect on speech, Dahadina said. There has always been a chilling effect for victims to come forward and speak out against institutions or entities or people with power because they feel like their world would come crashing down on them, she continued. The trial of Johnny Depp against Amber Heard is underway, and the Pirates of the Caribbean actor is receiving support from his fans. According to a source close to Depp, the love from his followers has energized him throughout his trial. Johnny is extremely grateful for his fans being so vocal on social media and in person throughout this entire case. It has given him a renewed energy to keep fighting for what he feels is right, the source told Hollywood Life in May 2022. Depp sued Heard for defamation in 2019 after an op-ed in the Washington Post highlighted her experience with domestic abuse. The trial began in April 2022. Despite the fact that the piece didn't identify people, Depp claimed that Heard's op-ed damaged his career and forced him to abandon parts like Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean. Despite all this, his supporters continue to support him. Fans have been lining up outside the courtroom in Fairfax, Virginia to see the actor and offer him support. The judge presiding over the case threatened to exclude some of Depp's admirers if they laughed during Depp's testimony on April 25, 2022. I'm so pathetic when it comes to knowing what movies I've done. I'm sorry. I just, I don't watch them. I feel better not watching them. What was the question again? He responded, and the crowd erupted in laughter. Judge Askeret announced, order in the court or I'll have you removed. Understood? Thank you. Prior to the trial, the court issued a warning against fan conduct. They urged that no one engaged in the case should pose for photographs or sign autographs in the courthouse or on the courthouse grounds. If so, then they would be punished accordingly. The court also warned that audible comments of any kind during the court proceedings or provocative or uncivil behavior within the courtroom or courthouse will not be tolerated. There shall be no gestures, facial expressions, or the like suggesting approval or disapproval during the proceedings. Anyone violating this order will be expelled immediately from the courtroom and will not be able to return during the pendency of the trial. That will be all for this one, folks. Thanks for watching and have a